By the time the A-frame duck was loaded with instrument and communication gear and a skeleton crew from the battery detail, George Battery was ready to roll. According to the book, the beach performance of the duck is excellent. And that's the truth. Each duck carried a chief of section, a gunner, and two cannoneers. The amphibs had nosed the LSM in so far there was hardly enough surf to wet the engine or the brake mechanism. But just to play safe, we planned to overhaul them later. Each duck moved into its assigned position according to the loading officer's plan. When the last of the house was aboard, the time was exactly 1600. How battery, that was Anderson's, had the gravy. It was SOP to hitch the house to the prime movers and head for Beach Red 3. Intelligence knew their landing beach would be solid, or they'd have moved in something other than their six by. By 1500, they were on the way. By 1530, they were at Beach Red 3. By 1545, they were putting the battery aboard when item battery came roaring by. By the time Anderson's base piece bounced up the ramp, Jabot's boys of item battery were bucking the surf on the way to their LSM anchored in the bay. Beyond the breaker line, it settled down to a dry run with everybody heading for the belly of that LSM like a bunch of water bugs. 50 yards out, they got their signal to land, lowered their surf plates and windshields, and headed straight for the ramp. This time it was soft, no current or wind to allow for, no ground swells to estimate to keep from piling nose down on the ship's front stoop. Just a routine embarkation, non-stop up the middle of the ramp. So that made all of us. George, Howe, and Item. All the batteries loaded aboard on time and ready to go. 